In this video, I'm going to show you how to install macOS High Sierra on an unsupported Mac. Now in this demonstration, as you can see, I'm going to be using a early 2008 15-inch Apple MacBook Pro for this demonstration. Um, obviously this is an unsupported machine, so uh, the entire process can be done on an unsupported machine. So the first thing you're going to need to do is go to my webpage, which contains all the information that you will need to um, apply this patch on your machine. So the first thing you're gonna wanna take a look at here are the system requirements. Um, the machines that are supported, of course, are listed under the requirements section. And uh, in case you get confused by that, uh, the machines that are not supported are uh, listed right here. Now, um, you wouldn't believe with uh, Sierra Patcher how many people uh, tried to install it on machines that aren't supported, even though uh, it says right here on the webpage which machines aren't supported. So please, uh, look at the web page and make sure the machine you're trying to install High Sierra on is actually one of the supported models. Um, so the second thing you're going to be aware want to be aware of are the known issues with this tool. Um, the main thing is uh, the unsupported Wi-Fi modules that are present in some systems. Um, this has been an issue since Sierra on these unsupported machines, uh, but as of now, there still really hasn't been any viable solution found other than to replace the card. So all that's explained here. Um, you can see the list of unsupported Wi-Fi IDs listed right here. Um, these IDs are the ones that do not work. Um, any other ID that you do not see in this list, such as uh, 0x8D as shown here, are supported cards. So only the ones listed here are not supported. And of course you can check by going to System Profiler and uh, looking at the ID there. And uh, in this example, this machine does not have a supported card installed. So you will see that Wi-Fi, of course, will not work uh, once installing High Sierra. Um, so the second thing that will not work on the MacBook 5.2, if that's the machine you're using, is the trackpad. Now, while the trackpad does work, uh, you won't be able to change any settings like enabling two-finger click, um, the two-finger scrolling gestures, which may or may not work. It works in some machines and sometimes it doesn't. Um, and then the last thing that doesn't work on some uh, machines are, is the brightness control. Now, um, that uh, can be rectified by installing a third-party application to control the brightness manually, uh, but the brightness will not work by controlling by using uh, the brightness up and down keys or the ambient light sensor automatic brightness changing. So, those are the only known issues with this. So um, as of now, all you'll need to do is download the macOS High Sierra patch tool, which you can download from here. Now, you also will need a copy of the macOS High Sierra installer app, which you can either get from a Google Drive link, which I've linked here. You can get from actually within the installer app, which is what I'm gonna earn from within the High Sierra Patcher app, which I will show you in this video, or if you have an unsupport or a supported Mac, you can use the App Store on that to download a copy and then just transfer it over with a flash drive, or you can just run the High Sierra Patcher tool on your supported machine to create a USB drive. So with that, uh, I've already downloaded the High Sierra Patcher tool, and um, it will be distributed as a DMG. You can see right here. Um, all you need to do is click on that, and it will mount it. And uh, once it's mounted, you will see you have the volume here and macOS High Sierra Patch will be located inside it. So you can go ahead and open it. And if it doesn't open, you can just right click on it and click open like this. So it will take a minute for it to verify since it is uh, about a 70 megabyte app here. And um, now you can see that the macOS High Sierra Patcher is open. Now, as of now, since I don't have a copy of macOS High Sierra downloaded yet, uh, you will have to either get a copy from the App Store on a supported machine or the Google Drive link, but the method I would recommend is you can go up to the Tools menu here in the macOS High Sierra Patcher and just simply, and simply click on Download macOS High Sierra. And this does not require an Apple ID, um, and it will automatically download the latest copy of the macOS High Sierra installer app for you. So I'll go ahead and select that here. Um, it will prompt you to continue because it warns you that it is a uh, very large file and will take quite a bit of time to download. Just go ahead and select yes on this. And then it will ask you to specify a location to save the resulting app. So in this case, I'm just gonna go ahead and save it to the desktop. So you can see I've just selected desktop here and it's selected up here. 
and then I'm just going to go ahead and click select. And once I do that, the download process will begin. As you can see, it has begun here. And like I said, this will take quite some time because it is a large app. So once this download completes, I will go ahead and resume the video. All right, so once the download completes, you will now notice that the uh, install macOS High Sierra app has now been saved to the desired location that you selected. Um, so now what you're going to want to do is plug in the desired USB drive. Uh, so as you can see here, I have a uh, hard disk just connected to a adapter here. So I'll go ahead and plug that in. And uh, once it appears, I will show you the next thing to do. Alright, so as you can see, uh, the drive has now appeared. So now what you're going to want to do is go ahead and open up Disk Utility. Alright, so once you're in Disk Utility, you're going to want to find your USB drive. So as you can see, I have mine right here. And uh, you're going to want to go ahead and click Erase. Now, if you're selecting the whole drive, which is this part here, it'll have a spot for the uh, partition type, or the uh, files, or partition scheme, I should say. Um, and what you want to select there is GUID partition table. Uh, but in this case, I'm just erasing the partition. So um, you're going to want to make sure uh, OS X Extended Journal is selected, or a Mac OS Extended Journal on the newer disk utility. And um, just name it whatever you want, and click Erase. So it'll take a few seconds to erase here. Alright, and now that the drive has been erased, you can go ahead and close out of Disk Utility, head back into the macOS High Sierra Patcher, and uh, select it from this list. And as you can see, uh, if it's not showing up, just click Refresh, and now you can see macOS is showing up. And that is, of course, uh, the USB drive there. And then what you're going to want to do is click on the uh, installer icon here, and you're going to want to browse for your copy of the install macOS High Sierra app. So we're going to go ahead and select it here. Um, you can see that it is a 5.17 gig file, which is about the size that you want it to be. It shouldn't be any less than uh, 5 gigs. Uh, so you're going to want to go ahead and open that. Ensure that the tool successfully verifies the app. And uh, once that's done, just go ahead and select Start Operation. Um, it'll just warn you that all contents on the disk will be erased even though you already did that. I'll just go ahead and select yes. And then just type your password when prompted. And now the process of creating the patched USB drive will begin. Uh, it will take quite some time, especially if you're using a flash drive. Uh, on a hard drive, like I'm using, it doesn't take uh, that long. But um, once, this done, once this finishes the process, uh, I will go ahead and resume the video and show you what to do from there. So I'll be right back. Alright, so as you can see, the process has just completed. Uh, so once that's done, you can just go ahead and close it. Uh, you can close out of everything else. And now what we're going to want to do is go ahead and reboot the machine onto the patched USB drive. Uh, so go ahead and select Restart here. And select Restart. So then once it reboots, you're going to want to hold down the Option key at Startup, uh, so you can select the boot device. Alright, so you can see the USB drive has showed up right here. Um, so now what you're going to want to do is just go ahead and boot from it. Uh, so you can see that it will begin booting up off of the USB drive. Um, so once that finishes booting up, I will go ahead and resume the video and uh, show you what to do from there. So I'll be right back. Alright, so as you can see the machine has just finished booting up here, so go ahead and select uh, English here. Alright, so once you're in the macOS installer screen here, um, you're going to want to go ahead and open up Disk Utility. Now, if you're planning on doing an install where you upgrade your current version of macOS, uh, you're going to want to skip this step. So if you're upgrading, do not uh, worry about opening Disk Utility at this point. 
uh, you can just go ahead and proceed with the installation uh, as normal. So uh, at this screen, just select the drive that contains your current version of OS X and click continue and it will install uh, as an upgrade, leaving all your contents intact. But um, if you want to do a clean install, which is what I'd personally recommend, uh, however it is optional, um, you're going to want to go ahead and open up the disk utility. Now you can either do this using the uh, utilities uh, window over here, or there's of course a utilities menu uh, in the menu bar. Um, the only reason I uh, made this show up right here is because some people were having issues where the menu bar wasn't appearing for whatever reason. Uh, so of course having the window down here, or you can just double click on the uh, utility you want to launch, uh, alleviates the need for the menu bar. So. Once you've gotten Disk Utility open, you're going to want to select the volume that you want to install High Sierra on. Go ahead and select Erase, or, part, or um, if you're selecting the whole drive, you'll have the uh, option to select the GUID. Of course, you want to select GUID Partition Table as before. Um, so in here, you can either select Mac OS Extended Journal, or if you want to, you can use the APFS file system. Um, I have just uh, added a patch to the uh, post install tool that will allow you to boot off of an APFS volume on an unsupported machine. So if you want to install uh, to an APS volume, you can. I'm personally, I'm just going to stick with OS Extended Journal. Um, not that. I'm personally going to stick with Mac OS Extended Journal just for this demonstration. Uh, so with that selected, I'm just going to go ahead and select Erase. Alright, so now that the erase process is completed, I can go ahead and close out of Disk Utility and go ahead and proceed with the High Sierra install. So as you saw, I just erased the volume called High Sierra, so we'll go ahead and install on that volume. So, just wait for the installation to complete as normal, and then uh, once it's done, I will show you what to do from there. So, I will be right back. Alright, so the installation has just completed. And um, once you reboot, you will get uh, this screen. Or if you install it to an APFS volume, you probably will get a flashing question mark or just nothing at all. Um, so now what you want to do is you want to shut the machine off, turn it back on, and reboot off the installer drive once again. So let me wait till it shows up here. And now what we want to do is just reboot off of our USB drive again. And um, once this boots up once again, I will go ahead and resume the video. Alright, so once you've rebooted back into the installer, um, you're going to want to go ahead and open the macOS post install utility. Now as I mentioned before, you can either do it from the utilities menu right here, or you can use the utilities menu in the menu bar. So I'll go ahead and do that. And um, once it opens here, I will show you what to do. Alright, so once it's open, you will notice that it will display the model of your machine right here. So what you're going to want to do is just select that model from the list here. So you can see this is a MacBook Pro 4,1. And what this will do is it will automatically select uh, the patches necessary for this Mac model. Um, and also you can select these little information icons here and it will tell you a little bit about the patch and what it does. So uh, if you're curious about more details, you can just look at each one. Um, now, as you can see, the APFS patch is not available since uh, I have not selected an APFS volume. Um, so keep note, if you are using an APFS volume, you cannot apply the recovery partition patch as uh, when you use APFS, the recovery partition is created in a different way. It's actually an APFS volume itself. Uh, so it cannot be booted or patched uh, at this time with High Sierra Patcher. However, that might change with a later release. Uh, as I figure out more updates. Um, so then what you're going to want to do here is in the volume selection here, you're going to want to select the disk that you installed High Sierra on. So in this case, it was the volume named High Sierra. So go ahead and select it there. And then once you've gotten all the uh, desired patches selected, you're going to want to go ahead and select patch. It will apply all the necessary patches. And then once it's done, um, you're going to want to select reboot. Now, as you can see, it will sit there for a few moments rebuilding caches. Now, the forced cache rebuild option here usually isn't necessary. However, if for some reason the system uh, won't boot or has some weird problems after you reboot into the OS, you can uh, rerun the post install patch 
and select force cache rebuild before rebooting and that should fix your problems. So um, once this finishes rebuilding the caches and reboots, I will go ahead and resume the video. Alright, so as you can see I've now gotten the machine booted up and I've already gone through the first time setup and uh, as you can see here it is running Mac OS High Sierra. This is a beta version because at the time of making this video the final version hasn't come out yet but the same process will of course apply with the final version. Uh, but um, yeah, as you can see this is the early 2008 MacBook Pro. Now it doesn't actually say that here because for some reason this machine doesn't actually have a serial number but uh, yeah, of course you can just tell by looking at it that this is indeed uh, the early 2008 model. In fact, I can show you uh, the model identifier in here. You can see it is a MacBook Pro 4,1. So that is how to install macOS High Sierra on an unsupported Mac. Hope you enjoyed this video.